Hi everyone, welcome you all. So from today, we are going to start a new series on file handling. And as part of this series, uh, I will be covering a different type of files and different type of formats like text files, CSV files, property files, okay, JSON and XML files. Along with, I'm also trying to cover different languages like Java, Python, JavaScript and TypeScript and so on. So as part of today's video, let us try to start with uh, file handling in Java, especially we'll try to deal with the text files. Okay. So first thing, let us see how to create a folder and how to check if folder is exist. And then we will see how to rename a folder and then we'll see how to delete a folder. So these are all folder operations. And then we will see how can we work with the files. So to handle these files in Java, we have a special package available, which is java.io.file. So this special package is available in Java. So which is provided as different type of methods and through those methods, we can handle files. Now let us start with the folder actions. So first we'll see how to create a folder and then we'll see how to check if folder exists or not and then renaming a folder and delete, delete the folder. So what I'll do is I'll just open my Eclipse and here I already created a new project called Java files and in which there is SRC in this, I'm going to create a new package and uh, I'll name it as text files. And this is a new package which I have created and inside this, I'm going to create new Java class. So I'll name it as folder actions. I'm taking main method and say finish. Now, so this is the main method. Now let's see first, how can we create a folder? So for every type of operation, I'm going to create a different methods so that we can, uh, whenever you want to perform any actions on the folders, you can simply call those methods. So what I'll do is I will create a first method for creating a folder. So I'm directly creating a static method so that I can directly call them from the main method itself. So. I'm creating one method called public static void create folder. And this method, we will pass the folder path where you want to create a folder. And accordingly, this method should create a folder. So I'm taking a string variable, which contains a folder path. Okay. By using this folder path, I'm going to create a new folder. So to create a new folder, first of all, we have to create a file object. Let's say file folder equal to new file. And here I'm passing a folder path. I'm just passing folder path. So we need to import this file. So file we have to import from java.io package. Now this folder is representing the folder which we are going to create. And now before creating the new folder, we have to first check if it is exist or not. So simply what you can do is you can say one if condition, if folder dot exist, there is a method called exist. If the folder is already existed, this will return a true. If it is not existed, return false. So when we have to create a new folder, if the folder is not exist, then we have to create. So we are checking condition like this. If not folder dot exist, that means if folder exists not. And then we have to create a new folder. So I can simply call folder dot mkdir. So this method will create a new folder. Okay. And then you can simply write one simple message. See, so system dot println. You can say folder created. And where it is created, you can simply specify the folder path. So this is how we can simply create uh code for creating folder now we need to just call this method by passing folder path so let's go to the main method and because this is a static method i can directly call from the main method so i can just call this method so to call this method what we can do first of all let me take the folder path where you want to create so i want to create a new folder inside my c drive and here there is a folder called my files. So I just want to delete this folder for now. So I want to create a new folder here in the C drive. So what I can do is I can just provide the location where you want to create. 
Okay, so here, first of all, we need to call this method and then we have to pass the folder path. So I'm just taking one string variable. I can say folder path equal to in the C drive, I can say my files. This is my folder name. And now I'm just call that method create folder, create folder. And in this, I'm just going to pass folder path. That's it. So when I just call this method, which will take this folder path, which is passing as a parameter, and then it will check the folder exists or not. If it is not exist, then it will create new folder, right? So now let us try to run this code. It can run as Java application. So now we can see the folder created in this particular location. Now we can just go back and see you are able to see the my files. So this is a folder which we have created. Okay. Now, suppose if you want to check that folder is exist or not, if you already created a folder, just you want to check exist. So this is the method you can use or else you can create another method. So for example, I'm just copying the same method and I will just check the folder exist or not. Check if folder exist. So again here, I'm just changing the name of the method. I can say check folder exists and I'm just passing the folder path as usual and we need to create a folder object and here we have to pass a folder path and then we have to verify which is exist or not. So instead of checking this condition and everything, I'm just trying to return. So return. Uh, folder dot exist because this method will check the file exists or not right if the folder is exist then this particular method will return true if it is not exist then return false i can simply say folder dot exists okay and this will throw some exception and because this is returning boolean so the return type of this method will boolean type okay so simple method we can simply create uh, just be pass folder path and check the folder exist or not if it is exist a return true if it is not exist a return false so if you already created a new folder called my files now we need to call this method check folder exist simply we can call this method so first we have already created a new method new folder now i'm just calling it check folder exist and here i'm passing folder path so whatever path I have taken here, the same folder path I'm just passing. I'm just calling in the second method. So first method, we just created a new folder. Now in the second method, we are checking the folder is exist or not. So what I can do is I can simply delete this existing folder so that we are calling the first method create folder. This will create a new folder and the second folder will check folder exist or not. So let me just run it. Yes. The first method is folder is got created. Second method is returning true or false, right? So that we need to uh, take into some variable and then we can check again condition folder exist or not. So for that, what we can do is this method is returning true or false, right? So that we have to take in another variable boolean folder exists. I'm taking one more variable. So here I'm just printing exist or not system println. I can say folder exists, folder exists, and I'm just telling the status exist true or false. Just here. Okay. So now when I run this, so I already created a new folder. So let me just remove this and now execute. So now folder is got created here and also folder is got existed. Okay. So this is how we can simply create a new folder and we can check folder is exist or not now the next operation let us see how can we uh, rename a folder suppose i already have one folder now i want to rename a folder so let us see how can we do this so this is my folder which is already created and now i want to rename the folder so for that i can create one more user defined method how can we rename a folder rename a folder so to rename a folder, uh, simply I can create one more static method. You can say public static void. Uh, I can say 
rename folder and whenever you want to rename a folder we need to pass uh, we need to pass two parameters one is string old path that means uh, the old folder name and then you have to specify another name like a string uh, new path so means an old name and new new name of the folders so now we need to create two things here so one is file old file old folder and equal to new file and here we will pass this old file path so that we have to rename with the new file so for that also we need to create one more file object this is i call it new folder and here we need to pass new path so now i have taken this old path old folder and this is a new folder now we need to rename old folder with the new folder so before renaming first of all we need to check the existence of the old folder if the old folder is exist then we can rename it otherwise not so we can simply write one if condition if old folder okay old folder how can we verify existence we can simply say dot exist old folder dot exist right exist if it is returns true then we need to rename which one we have to rename old folder dot we have a method called rename rename to and here we have to pass new folder name so once it is done we can just confirm system dot dot printl and we can simply say folder rename to here we just print new folder name i can say new path so whatever we provided here that we can just print so this particular method will rename the folder but only thing is we need to pass two parameters so let us call this method from the main method so i'm just calling this need rename folder and the previous folder path is this one this is a old file and now when i want to rename with the latest one so how can we rename it simply what we can we can just pass a new folder path so here i'm taking one more string variable new uh, folder path equal to in the c colon slash slash my files one okay this is a folder and this is my old folder name and this is my new folder name so i need to pass two parameters folder path and then new folder path and then new folder path so two parameters we have to pass so this will able to rename the folder so this is the existing uh, folder this is a new folder right so what i'll do is i will try to remove this currently i don't have any files so i'm just calling all the methods first it will create a new folder then it will check folder exist or not and after that it will try to rename a folder again we are checking the existence when you try to rename a folder so let us save it and then execute java application yeah now we can see the folder is got created after that existence is true then after that it is renamed with my files too so if i go back and see the folder is got renamed and finally how can we delete this folder so to delete this folder i will create another method it's very simple public static uh, void delete folder and again this method will take a path folder path let me take in a string variable string folder path and now once you get the folder path here we have to just delete them okay so before deleting again we can check whether it is exist or not so first of all we need to create a file object like file folder uh, equal to new file and whatever folder path we capture as a parameter we have to just pass folder path and then we have to delete this folder so before deleting we have to check whether it is exist or not so we can simply say if a particular folder dot exist okay then 
go and delete it folder dot delete say folder dot delete so this particular method will delete the file okay and folder exists then file dot delete and one more thing suppose if the folder contains the number of files so we cannot directly delete the folder so if the folder contains a number of files, we cannot delete the folder. So first we need to delete all the files from the folder and then only we will be able to delete the folder. So this particular code will execute only if the folder is empty, then it will go and directly delete. But before deleting the folder, we have to delete all the files from this folder. So how can we delete all the files from the folder? So before doing this action, okay. So what we need to do is if the folder is exist, then what we need to do is we need to first delete all the files from the folder. So how can we delete? First, we need to get all the files to get all the files from the folder. We have a method called folder dot list files, list files. So this particular method will return all the files from the folder. Now we have to get each and every file and then we have to delete individually. So we have to write one for each loop folder dot list file. So this will return multiple files and we have to read each and every file into a variable. Let me take one variable called file and the type of the variable is what file. And now we need to delete the file. So file dot delete. So this loop will repeat till it deletes all the files from the folder. So first step, we have to check folder exist or not. If it is exist, then read all the files from the folder, get each and every file into this, into this variable and then delete it. So this for loop will delete all the files from the folder. And once it is deleted, then we will able to delete all the, uh, delete the folders. Okay, so before deleting the folder, we need to check two things. The folder exists or not. If it is exist, delete all the files and then delete the folder. So this is the process. So once it is done, we can simply write one confirmation message. Here I can say folder deleted. So which folder is got deleted? We can simply say folder path. Okay, folder path we need to just pass. That's it. So we need to simply write one method. And now we need to call this method just by passing folder path. So here I'm just passing, calling this delete folder. Now I need to pass the location. We already have this folder. So just I'm passing this new folder path. So this will go and delete the folder. So now we are doing four operations, like creating the folder and checking folder existence. Then we are renaming the folder. And after renaming, we are deleting the folder. So totally four operations we are doing. So now save it and then go and execute. So currently there is a file. So my files, let me just delete it. Okay, now let us try to execute. So four methods I have written for creating folder, check folder exist, and then rename a folder, and then deleting a folder. So let us try to execute now. Yes. Now you can see this, uh, this is a new folder which is got created, it is existed, then it is got renamed with my files one and then folder is got deleted. Okay, so this is how we can simply handle uh, folders by using java.io.file. So java.io is having file class, so in this there are so many methods are there. So just like we have mkdar, which will create a new folder and uh, folder.exist, which will check the folder exist or not. And then we have another method called folder.rename2. This will rename the folder. And similarly, we have uh, delete, folder.delete. So this will delete the folder. So these are the different operations we can do on the folders. So in the next video, we will see how can we handle files. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.